guys, today's show is going to be a fun one. I have a 12 pound full packer corned beef brisket out on the Pit Boss 1600. It's been there since 6 30. It is now 9 30 a.m. It's about 30 degrees today. We are going up to 50. So that is a, a good thing. St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner. So that is a, a double good thing. And also I'll be spring boarding this corned beef brisket off into a couple griddle recipes. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for all that. So look, what I wanna do here is I wanna take you in. Again, we've been on for about three hours. I am running a little bit hot at about 275 Fahrenheit. I definitely need to get this done by dinner time. So I got no, uh, no room to play around. I think the meat can handle it, so we'll be all right there. But let's go in. We got some apple cider vinegar. I wanna spritz it with that, and then just let this puppy run. Come on. We'll start this show three hours in. And then what I will do is give you a, a bird's eye view at 6 a.m. We'll jump a little back so you can see the uh, seasoning of this brisket. And I gotta say, man, we are developing quite the bark. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, look, I forgot to mention, I definitely do have a water pan in there, especially when you're going hot and fast, you wanna keep it nice and moist. And I am hitting it, like I said, every hour, just about on the hour with this apple cider vinegar. My plan here is to take it up right through the stall, right up to that toothpick tender. I may foil both the bottom or I may wrap it. It's gonna be a game time decision, just depends on how long it's taking. So stay tuned for all that. Guys, as noted, we will take you back to 6 a.m. And look, this is a uh, this is a 12 pound corned beef brisket. This was a store purchased and was in the uh, solution. What I did was get it out. I ran it in some cold water, and here we are now. I'm going to go with a mustard binder, and my carnivore black is going to give it a, a nice peppery rub. You want to stay away from salt, as the uh, brisket is going to be salty enough. Oh yeah. And look, I think this uh, mustard is gonna go good with this corn beef. You're not really gonna taste it much, although you may get a little hint of it, but it is gonna pair well. And look, if you could find one of these big suckers in the uh, grocery store, you definitely wanna pick one up. So time marked 6.30 a.m. All right, guys, look, we are five and a half hours in. We've come to that crossroad. I just took a peek, man, and it is starting to crisp up. Again, remember, we are running a little hot at 2.75. So that can happen. So what we gotta do here is figure out, are we gonna wrap it? Do we let it run or do we boat it? Let's go over together, let's take a look. And oh, I got some fixings here on the board. We're gonna wanna fix them up a little bit also and get those on the pit. Oh yeah, come on. Oh man. I mean, you could tell that color was uh, was gonna be like that again, five and a half hours in, and we're definitely in the stall at that 160 range. And she is moving through like butter already. get a, a slight hint of the uh, mustard through the bark. That's amazing color. So look, I have decided to foil boat it, and the reason is, so I'm gonna protect the, uh, the, pe the 
uh, protect the edges from crisping up, but I also am gonna continue to develop that bark. I mean, it looks amazing as it is. I can't imagine how it's gonna look in another three hours. Oh. Another thing what you're going to get with this foil boat, you can spray it down. You can get a little liquid in that bottom, which is going to continue to steam from below to up. And that is a, uh, oh, that's a good thing. As a Molly inspects for any kind of droppings. Look, I'm just gonna briefly show you these uh, fixings. We're not gonna get too much into it, but basically what you wanna do is core out a cabbage and fill it up with your, uh, fill it up with your favorite BBQ sauce, then smoke it, bake it, whatever. And I'm telling you, you'll never make cabbage any other way. There you could see the uh, fixing. We're gonna have some potatoes going, some carrots going, and of course that cabbage. We will smoke it, but then I'll get it off and finish it off in the house. I mean, this is an amazing meal. All right, guys, look, man, we are eight hours in. And we are reading just about 200 Fahrenheit on the uh, on the temp. Let's go in. Let's check it out. If everything checks out, everything looks good. We'll get it on the board. I'll tell you, man, I am definitely digging the, uh, the, the bark and the color on this bad boy. I'm gonna bring this camera in and give you guys a closer look. All right, guys, look, man, that is what you're going to get by boating your uh, your brisket, your ribs. You are going to continue to uh, develop that crust, that bark, and also it is going to stay very moist. You know, like I say, man, sometimes there just are no words. So look, basically what I'm gonna do, and you see that juice on the uh, bottom, we'll get some of that on the uh, meat and get the rest of that in the house, but I'm gonna loosely cover this up and let it sit on the board for about two hours. All right, guys, man, it is 4.46. We started this road show here at 6.30 a.m., so that's not too bad. I am definitely excited to see what this bad boy looks like. Let me unwrap it. I'll switch that camera around, give it a slice, and hey, man, you know the deal. <laughs> Still see me? <laughs> bark wise, man, this is friggin', this is money, man. That bark is right there. Man. I mean, look at that. Well, damn. So 
so I'm just gonna give a, a peek, make sure I get the uh, get the cut right. There you go. I mean, that is flavor. Guys, as noted before, man, I am going to springboard this off into uh, a couple pretty amazing recipes, so definitely stay tuned for that. So look guys, if we finish showing off the uh, goods, we will take this in live for some closing thoughts and a quick taste test. Yeah. All right guys, man, look man, I had a, I had a couple bites. I mean, this is flat out money. This is, the, this is through the shack roof, man. This is, uh, this is just about friggin' perfect. I mean, you saw me pull it. It's got a nice pull apart. It's got a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a tug. I like that, man. The, uh, the bark is just is, is bananas. The color is perfect. I mean, this is uh, this is corned beef and all corned beefs. And look, I am going to springboard this corned beef into a couple griddle cooks. And you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to that. But a little on-screen taste test never hurt. But let's go up. Uh, I mean, she's got that, uh, she's got that classic corned beef color that you like. I'm not gonna slice it again. I'm gonna dive right in on this piece here. I mean, how can it not be amazing? It's friggin' corned beef, man. Corned beef around this time of year, St. Patty's Day, is always amazing. And again, man, what I am gonna do with this on the uh, griddle is gonna be even more amazing, so you definitely want to uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, man, because uh, it was gonna be pretty cool. So that is it for this one. Until next time, we will see you soon.